Using Planar Tracker, we can track the movement of a flat surface and thus be able to add any video, image, or text on that surface. Don't like this painting? Well, no problem. Solved. Now it's much better. Once inside DaVinci Resolve with our video, we place the playhead on top of the video and then open the Fusion module. In Fusion, our video will appear with a Media In and Media Out node. Well, the first step is to add a new node with the Planar Tracker effect. In order to add the effect, we go to the Effects panel located in the upper left. We click, looking for the effect of Planar Tracker. Here it is. Once you've selected the effect, you can easily add it to your video by dragging and dropping it onto the yellow line to connect the effect correctly. However, to save time and streamline your workflow, it's recommended that you use the keyboard shortcut Control Space or Command Space for Mac users to connect the effect to the node you want. The tool selection menu will appear. We simply have to look for the effect we want. In this case, we will look for the effect Planar Tracker. We select the effect and click on Add. It's that easy. We already have the node with the planar tracker connected. Perfect. The first step is to establish a reference frame. We must choose a frame from our video to start tracking. This is very important. It is not advisable to track on problematic surfaces. For example, in this video, we cannot trace the surface of the sand, since above this surface there is the movement of the waves, nor surfaces where there are people, cars, or other moving elements above the surface. It's also not advisable to track on reflective surfaces such as mirrors or glass. The planar tracker will follow the movement of the reflections. Keep this in mind since it's very important to be able to track correctly. Okay, with that said, let's start tracking the surface of this building. Choose a frame from your video that shows the entire surface you want to track in clear detail. For example, if you want to track the movement of a building's wall, select a frame where the wall is fully visible. We're looking for a frame where the entire surface can be appreciated well. This frame is perfect. We will use the frame 194. Select the planar tracker node and navigate to the inspector panel located in the upper right corner of the screen. Great. Now we're ready to set up the planar tracker effect. The first thing we will do is track the movement of the surface in our video. We're going to do tracking, therefore we must have the operation mode selected track. To select frame 194 as a reference frame, we just have to click on the button set. And we will already have frame 194 as a reference frame. To be able to do the tracking, it is mandatory to establish a reference frame. Don't forget to do it. Well, now we're going to create the zone that we want to trace. We left click on the viewer, left click, and we are creating the zone on the surface to track. I'm going to track this part of the wall. To finish, we just have to join the last part with the first point that we've created. In this way, we will close the tracking area. Before doing the tracking, we must select what type of movement is in your video. Specifically, what type of movement does the wall of this building make? You must select the appropriate type of movement. For this, we go to the option Motion Type. We click and these options will appear. Translation, if the surface that we're going to track only moves in the X and Y axis. Translation plus Rotation Movement, Translation, rotation, and scale if the surface also increases or decreases its size on the screen. A fine mode includes the movement of shear. And finally, perspective mode if the surface is seen from different perspectives during the video. In my video, the wall of the building is seen from different perspectives since the angle of vision changes. Therefore, I'm going to select the mode perspective. We already have everything well configured, so we can start tracking. Now, we've selected frame 194 as a reference frame. We're going to have to track from frame 194 to the last frame all the way to the right. And we'll also have to track the entire left side from frame 194 to frame zero. To track the right part, we must click on the track to end icon. The arrow points to the right with a horizontal line. We click and DaVinci Resolve will start tracking the movement of the surface. Finished. 
we see that a lot of vertical lines have appeared. These lines are keyframes with all the information of the movement that the wall of the building makes. Well, now we must track the left part of the video. For this, we go back to the reference frame, in my case, in frame 194, and we press the Track to Start button. DaVinci Resolve will start tracking. It doesn't usually take long. And finished. We have now done the most difficult part of the tutorial. We've tracked all the movement of the surface. It's time to add our text. Let's create a node with the Text Plus effect. We click on the Text Plus icon and a text node will appear. Perfect. Next, we select the node of Planar Tracker 1. As we're done with all the tracking part, in the Operation Mode section, let's change the mode Track by mode Corner Pin. The Corner Pin mode will allow us to add the text, an image, or a video to the tracking that we've just done. When selecting the Corner Pin mode, this area will appear with misplaced red lines. We must place these lines well and make exactly the shape with which we want to add our text or image. We click on the corner squares and we're placing and modifying the shape. I want to place the text right in this area. To check that we've placed the area correctly, I recommend you activate the following function. We display the corner pin one tab and in this menu, we activate the box Show Grid. With the grid activated, we can see if the perspective is correct. That is, if the area we've placed has the same angle as the wall. In my case, the squares of the grid must be completely straight and aligned because we're looking at the wall in front. Now, if I change the frame of the video, you can see that the grid has the same perspective as the wall. It is as if it followed the same movement in 3D. Perfect. Once we've finished, we can deactivate the grid since we're not going to use it anymore. Now it's time to add our text to the surface. For this, we connect the text one node with the planar tracker one node. Great, we already have our text connected to the planar tracker. We select texts node and write whatever text we want in this rectangle here. I'm going to write my house. We're going to choose the font and increase the size of the text. If we increase the size a lot, the letters may be cut off. We see that the letter M and E are cut off. Remember that before in the planar tracker node, we've created an area to place the text. In case you want to make the text bigger, you must also make this area bigger so that the letters are not cut off. Perfect, I'm going to decrease the size of the letters a little bit, like this. We choose the color we want for our text, and finished. If you want to add a shadow to the letters, we click on the text node and press the keyboard shortcut, Control Space. We look for the effect Drop Shadow, this one here, and click Add. Now we can see a shadow has been added to the letters. This shadow is fully customizable. We can increase or decrease the shadow strength, change the angle, the distance, the blur, so we can customize the shadow of the text to our liking. Now I'm going to show you how to integrate the text with your video so that it's much more realistic and that it's not just a text placed on top of it. To make the text look much more realistic, we need to play around with the text apply mode and gain. We click on the planar tracker node and then we go to the planar tracker menu. We have to have the operation mode selected corner pin. We display the section for corner pin 1 here, in the Merge Options section, we can change the Apply mode of our text. I recommend trying different modes to see which one suits your video better. For example, let's try the Overlay mode. Lighten, Soft Light. I'm going to use Mode Overlay. In the Gain option, you can increase the opacity further if you wish. We already know how to add a text to the surface. Now I'm going to show you how to add an image. It's done practically the same as with a text, but I prefer to explain it quickly so that you don't have doubts when doing it. With the tracking finished, we must have the operation mode corner pin. Now we have to import our image or video. 
We can open the media pool located in the upper left corner and we look for the clip that we want. For example, I'm going to import this image in PNG format of a graffiti. We select the file and drag it to the nodes panel. It's very easy. We just have to connect the media in two node with the planar tracker one node. Perfect. We already have the image of the graffiti on the building, as well as the text. We can make the image more realistic and integrate it with our video. To do this, we select the node of Planar Tracker, and we change the Apply mode. I'm going to try with the Overlay mode. And as we can see, when using the Overlay mode, the painting preserves the texture of the wall. It looks much more realistic. We can increase or decrease the gain, and there's no more mystery. You see, trying until you find the composition mode, that is best. If you're looking to take your video editing skills to the next level, I invite you to check out the free DaVinci Resolve course. This course will teach you everything you need to know about using this powerful software to create stunning video content. Nothing else for today. See you in the next video.